What's happening, Rambo Sense? So I was in my local pub the other day, having a cheeky rum, as you do, and in walks this pirate, and down his pants he had a steering wheel for some reason, and the barman goes to him, goes, uh, excuse me, he says, but do you know you've got a steering wheel down your pants? And the pirate replies by, by saying, aye sir, that it be, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> Let's go! Up spirit! Right, so, how to drink rum. And I'll tell you what I'll do. You don't even have to wait till the end of this video. I will give you a little secret and a little hint right now, right at the start. And that is, the best way to drink rum is however you like to drink rum. And it's as simple as that. There's so many methods, so many different ways of drinking that the best way for you is whatever you find is the best way for you. However, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to go through three different methods of drinking rum. I'm going to say why I like them, why I don't like them, etc. And then when we get to the mix, I have a new product that I'm going to test out and we're going to see what that's all about. Right, so to start off with, let's talk about cocktails. And cocktails are an absolutely fantastic way to drink rum. If you're a budding mixologist and you love to do stuff at home, you've got the daiquiris, mojitos, the Mai Tais and the pina coladas, absolutely fantastic. But what that comes with is every single cocktail needs a different type of ingredients. Ingredients, a lot of it fresh. And to make it all in the house and go and get all these ingredients, I just cannot be asked. I don't mind making the odd mojito on a hot summer's day, which is good, but I just can't be asked when I want to have a good drink of rum to spend five minutes every time making a cocktail. If I'm out, I love to go to a cocktail bar and the first thing I look for is around cocktails and I absolutely love them. But in the house to drink, honestly, I just cannot be bothered. There's too much effort. And I'm all about minimum effort, maximum satisfaction. The next way to do it is to just sip your rum. The issue with this, though, is that not all rums are good for sipping. Near enough, every rum you can mix and you would have a decent drink with it or beer thereabouts. But sipping, not every rum is good for sipping. And if you watch my reviews, you would know that there's been quite a few that I've got from the supermarket that... I would not put in my mouth again unless it's mixed. If you're looking at something like, oh, let's have a look. <clears throat> something like the Flor de Cana, you know, 12 years, lovely. But again, you go in a little bit at market, a little bit more expensive. If that's your bag, fantastic. And it just isn't for everyone and just not in everyone's price range. The other issue I have with, with sipping, some people may not see is, a, is an issue, that a sip soon turns into a gulp, a gulp soon turns into a bottle, and all of a sudden I'm crawling up to bed early hours of the morning after I've done a bottle of sipping rum. Some would say that's great, I don't mind that, but in the next morning, do not feel too great to be honest. And finally, the final thing to look at is just whacking in a mixer. Rum is very notorious for being a little bit boring with only the two mixers that people normally put in. That being Coke to make a little Cuba Libra or putting in ginger beer ginger ale to make a sort of fake dark and stormy. And in paired correctly, you know, it, it's beautiful. It's, it's what people like to drink. But if you're a bit like me, you start to get a little bit bored and a little bit frustrated of either using Coke or ginger beer. And also with me, I get very bloated very quickly and then go straight into finding a sipping rum after the first couple. Which, again, as we just said, isn't really good for me because I am like a pack of Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. But what can we do? So what can we do to change this up? So I'm not seeing on a lot of different Facebook pages, Facebook sites, uh, and a lot of Instagram pages that people are trying stuff like Fanta, Lemonade. I've just done the Captain Morgan's. Sliced apple with lemonade, that was okay, but it's just not my bag. And what I get frustrated by as well is when the gym boom happened in the UK, all these mixers started coming out to pair themselves with gin. But it just wasn't, it just isn't something on the rum market to do that. 
until now. I have come across something. It's been out for about 12 months. I am very slow on the uptake on this, but this is absolutely, if nice, a fantastic product that might change the way in which we drink our rum. And it is these bad boys, four separate mixes from Stratford Sodas, which are made solely, and I will use the word solely, because that is what they are made for and what, what is what they look to pair with, made solely for rums. This is what we've been waiting for. The company itself, just talking about that, it was founded by Dan and Katie. Katie, who is a great mixologist and runs the bartender Katie Instagram, Instagram account, is surprisingly allergic to a lot of different alcohols but she's not allergic to rum and like me and you as we're having this conversation now is getting very bored of the normal coke and ginger beer and was finding it very bloaty and gassy um, and it's something that I as also, I also struggle with so she got her head together her and her partner and they come up with this Stratford sodas um, and like I said there's four different flavors we start off We've got the hedgerow, the tropical, the citrus, and the spiced. Four different flavors to match with all different types of rums. So I saw, I'm a little bit late on the game, to be honest, a little bit late on the upkeep with this. And do you know what? I thought, right, let's go and see what this is all about. So I'm gonna share this experience with you. So I ordered uh, the large pack that comes with three of each of these mixers. And in that, it came with this. This is a pairing guide. I believe every month, the, when your order is going to send out a different pairing guide. And as you just see there, it shows examples of what you can pair with each sort of drink. Something I did like, and something that I do enjoy, is this little thank you note that came in the box. And... It is handwritten as well. So I think that is an absolutely lovely touch. Thank you very much, Katie. Very much appreciated. Right, so the first one I'm going to look at is the Hedgerow. So the Hedgerow is a floral rose and a succulent blackberry. And they do say that it's celebrating the English flavours. I myself would like to call it the British flavours. But there we go. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take a little sip out of the bottle. Don't judge me. I don't have a lot of glassware. I'm a beginner at this game. Oh wow, that is lovely and fruity that. Really refreshing as well. I could drink that on its own, really. That's nice, lovely. And it is so fizzy, but not too gassy, I would say. Nice, right. So to pair this, what I am going to pair it with is I've put a double shot of Pirate Grog five year age rum in there. So. I am going to have to give it a little mix round, otherwise that's what I'll get is that. Right, chin chin, let's smash it in, see what it's like. Oh wow, yes, Katie and Dan, very very nice. So I'm not a big fan of this kind of black currant also black and black brie kind of flavouring, all that sort of dark berry stuff. But that mixed with that, nice. Oh, very nice. Let's just say that <clears throat> is dangerously nice. There's a double shot in that, and I could probably neck that down now. That is so refreshing and so easy to drink. And that's not normally my cup of tea, my bag, that. But, wow. What I didn't say uh, about the Hedgerow is the types of rums they've got down here pairing is Holy Trinity, Mount Gay, Honeyball, and Bacardi White. So moving on, what I'm going to do is move on to the Tropical. And what they say about the Tropical, I am reading from Damien, is our pineapple and coconut has delicious fruity notes which create a classic but elegant rum pairing. Well, let's have a look. Right, so again, I'm going to go from the bottle. Mm. 
Yeah, definitely. You definitely got pineapple. And the coconut, I think, is quite subtle, but it is there. That, again, really, really refreshing. Really nice. Definitely getting that tropical vibes from there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Again, I could just I could just buy a bottle and drink that and not mix it with anything. But what I am mixing it with is Kraken. So what it says here for tropical, John Paul Jones, Rockstar Banana Bomb, Old Mother Hunt Dark. I've been looking forward to Old Mother Hunt. Um, I'm going to get them and I'll be doing them soon. And Kraken. So I've mixed it with Kraken, as they said. Let's give it a little mix round. That is my last double shot of Kraken. So this will be all nice today. Chin chin, let's smash it in. Oh wow, I will say though, is that just a little bit more in there. I've not gone, as you can see, I've not got over on the mixer. But yeah, that double cracking is a little bit over here, powering on there. Right, let's go in again, chin chin, smash it in. It's all in the name of science, isn't it? Oh, much better. <laughs> that, again, so nice and refreshing. I could neck it. That is lovely. And it, surprisingly, I am surprised, that pairs quite nicely with that dark rum as well. And you get that tropical, tastes like a tropical fruity cocktail. Really nice. Oh, Jesus. I'm excited. These are very, I've only drunk two, and these are very, very good, good, good mixes and products. Right, let's move on to the third one. So the third one we're going to look at is the citrus. And it says by her, our secret citrus base balances perfectly with any rum to make a refreshingly light long drink. Right, any rum, they've just said, yeah? What they do say, though, on this card, they've got Havana 7, Lost, Lost Years for Islands, Bullion Rum, or Sly Dog. So I've only got Havana 7. That is my last double shot of Havana 7. All my bottles are going. Oh my God, my shelf looks absolutely sick. And that is what we're going to try with. So, have a little sip though. Let's have a look. Ooh. Right. <clears throat> that is nice as well. Jesus, that is really nice. Really, really refreshing. Absolutely bombers, bob on that is. Right, let's pour it in, yeah? With the Havana 7. This is two rums now that I only sip. I don't mix Havana 7. Don't think it needs it. Havana 7, though, is, uh, it's got those tobacco notes and that as well, so I'm quite intrigued what it's going to be like in this citrus drink. Right, chin chin, let's smash it in. Oh, you can definitely get the citrus coming through there now. 100% now, I would not make another mojito. I would use this with ice, with that rum, a bit short of rum in there. Maybe white rum, I don't know. I tell you what, I'll try it on, I'll let you know. But I don't think I'll make mojito anymore. It's got that vibe to it, it's got that... Yes, it's a little bit more of a bite of a citrus thing. If you like your mojitos more, let's say, sugary or sweeter, just a little bit of sugar, sugar syrup in there. I think that's bomb on. Absolutely bombers. Chin chin, smash it in. Mm. That is nice, that. Very, very nice. Right, so the last one, but definitely not the least, and there's a reason that I've left this to last, and that is because I am a massive advocate of dark rum and ginger beer. And this is going to have to be good to persuade me to come off that. And that is the spiced version. 
It says, a true drink experience, our twist on a familiar flavour, adds a tingle of cinnamon to the warmth of ginger. Right, so, let's have a little taste, let's have a little sip again from the bottle, don't judge me. Again, very, very light. I will say though, the cinnamon is a little bit more prominent than it is on the ginger. But again, it's all light, it's not overpowering. And I can't drink ginger beer just like that. I mix it with rum, <laughs> only, way, only way to drink your soft drinks with a shot of alcohol in there. But this is, is good. Again, very light and refreshing. So what does it say here? It says to mix it with Gosling's rum. Oh, Gosling's rum java, eight rivers rum and Salford spice. I don't have any of them, but what I do have and what I'm going to mix it with is the good old Passer's rum. So I've got a double shot of Passer's rum in there. Put that in there. Lovely. Mix that all up. All right, let's have a look. Chin chin, let's smash it in. Go oh, shut the front door. Unbelievable, Jeff. <clears throat> a little bit horsey today. A little bit horsey. <laughs> but yeah. Wow. Wow. So, once again, passes. I normally just sit passes. I don't drink that with anything else. That, though, is really, really bombers. Really nice. And I tell you what, is it, is it a rum and ginger beer? Ginger ale? No, it's not. It is not. This is a lot lighter. The flavour profile is so, so subtle that you get in that ginger, you are, but it's not overpowering. It's palatable, very palatable and refreshing. Oh shit, son. <clears throat> lovely, absolutely lovely. I've got to say, again, these kind of things, I'm always quite sceptical about them, but I like what I like, and I don't like jumping out of that comfort zone. But these are absolutely stunning. I 100% recommend these because you've got everything. You've got every you don't need to make a cocktail. I'm not saying go away from your, your Cokes and go away from your ginger beer. Everything has its place. These are light, these are refreshing, these will, you can drink these all day long, I think. <laughs> Again, I will go out there and I'll let you know. But I generally think that you can drink these all day long and you won't get that gassiness, bloatingness, which I get, you know. And everyone sees me with my big belly poking out when I'm bloated, when I've been on the rum and cokes. I have to say a massive thank you and well done, Katie and Dan, because what you have done is... Everything that we as a rum drinker needs. We need this. We need a different way to drink our rums. This is my genuine, genuine, honest opinion of these. And they are absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I highly recommend that you go and go and purchase these. And give them a try for yourself and let me know. And I will catch you at the next review.